Alright, Shalom. Call hello Lai Hawa Bahashim which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people ignorantly call God Bahashim, which is in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are all the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I want to give a shout to the Oculus pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, uplifting the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. All pray, oh, what else we want to say? Shalom to the uh, confusion of faces whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers. Though you may look like one of the heathen nations, you're scattered amongst. If your seed line, same to if your seed line goes back to one of these tribes through the man, and if your spirit bear witness with this word and this truth, and you can receive it, okay, to you confusion the faces, though you do look a little different, you are Israelites. To the few aqua that, uh, which is your sisters that do listen and learn Shalom to you, to the elect of the nation of Israel, where they may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who this word is going out to, Shalom to you as well. And um, to so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you combine and consist and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites. That is your true nationality, okay? Not black, not Latino, not Native American. You are the Hebrew Israelites, okay? You are the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shah. And, um, there's a uh, real quick lesson I wanted to do. I just seen this uh, on RT, RT News, Russia Today News. And it says, women are not your bloody property. Indian politician held his hero for slapping Groper. And even though this is a, uh, these are uh, Elam. Elam is so, the so-called East Indian people, as you see on the screen. Though you have confusion of faces amongst all these heathen nations. But I'm... No, I, I wouldn't be shocked if this Jesus just actual heathens right here. But um, anyway, I'm gonna read a little bit of this article, and I'm probably just gonna get straight to scriptures. You know, make this brief and short. You no, know, Lord, when this does be edified. It says, any actress turned politician Kush Kushboo Sundar has become a viral sensation this week for doing out swift justice after she was groped while campaigning in Bangalore. The Indian National Congress candidate faced a torrent of jeers and what appeared to be flying vegetables as she was making her way through heavy crowds in the city in southern India on Wednesday during the commotion. A man twice grabbed her from behind without a moment's hesitation. She turned her face down her turn turned to face down her would be harassed and slapped him full force in the face. He groped me once and I turned around and started walking. He groped me for the second time. That's when I started turn and I slapped him. Sundar told the newsman that clips of the incident have gone viral on social media and Sundar has been hailed as a hero and inspiration to women across India. No, it's not really that much left, but um That was the article. I just got rid of the article on accident, but um Yeah, but let me just get straight to the scriptures. The article's gone. And let's get the definition before I get into of woman. This is the online etymology dictionary. It says adult female human, literally woman man, uh, alteration of wolfman, woman, female servant, okay? A female servant, okay? Keep that in mind. A female servant to who? Your husband, man, okay? And I know this lady, she, some random dude, you know, grabbed her, but the point is when the title said is women are not your bloody property, which that's wrong. Okay, um, this is, uh, the KJV. <laughs> Alright, this is, uh, Ecclesiastes of Sirach, 36th chapter. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 36 and 24, okay? He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession. That's a cut right there. A possession. A help like unto himself and a pillar of rest, okay? So you women, okay, are possessions, man, okay? 
You're not independent, okay? You're not uh, equal to the man, okay? It tells you that the woman and the what? First and Timothy is the weaker vessel. I forgot what book it was. I think it was first. First, it was the book of first Peter of first and Timothy. It was one of the books, okay? You are a possession, man, okay? That's what you are, okay? Nothing more. A possession. It says it in the, the uh, etymology, uh, uh, the etymology dictionary, and it says it in that verse right there, man. Okay? I could have ended with that one video, okay? Um, This is, uh, let me see. 1 Corinthians 11. Now I praise is 1 Corinthians 11 and, and uh, 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. Actually, let me get this before I, I'm going to get, uh, I think it's Jeremiah 32 and 31. Then I'm going to come back. This is Jeremiah. Thirty one and twenty two. Because even though this is a heathen woman, okay. You are, uh, it really applies to you all, you women, especially the women, you Israelite women, okay? It applies to all of you, but because, you know, going back to uh the um, uh, Esau, the serpent, Adam and Eve in the garden, okay? Um, you've uh, bit, uh, bit off that uh, philosophy that you're uh, 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 just as equal or above the man, okay? That you're independent, that you're strong, okay? That you could do everything by yourself and you don't need the man. That's that that the philosophies you bit of, man. So now Esau is spreading this whole attitude around the globe. That's what really he does. It's not just okay, him going to nation to nation and sucking up their resources. It's really him going to um uh uh not only is it sucking up the nations, but it's also him trying to uh for, uh, put his ways and his philosophies within these countries, okay, to make them hearken onto his ways and philosophies. That's why you got like Iran, you got Iran, and you got all these other nations, okay, fighting against America because they see that America pushes that 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 uh un out of order, okay, death cycle, man, death lifestyle, man. That's what America pushes, okay. But, um, this is Deuteronomy. Uh, 31 and 22, how long will I go about with our backsliding daughter, okay? And that's really talking about the whole nation of Israel, okay? The Lord has likened us onto a delicate woman, okay? For the Lord has created a new thing in the earth, a woman shall compass a man. That's what's happening. These women, okay, have compassed a man, okay? Now, they are, basically, they worshipped, okay? They are on t lifted up, exalted on top of the pedestal, Okay? They they uh, uh 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 at the top right now, so they they have basically they have a prideful attitude, man. Okay, so this is what we're living in. This uh first first and Timothy. Then I'm gonna come back. Okay. First and Timothy two and twelve, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence, for Adam was formed first, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression, man. Okay? 
So that's the thing, man. You women were created for us to be a helpmeet, man. Okay? To bear children. But you're not doing that. You're doing the complete opposite. Okay? The order. Now I'm going to get the order that it was set up. Original order. So you women really are property. First in Corinthians 11 and 3. But I'll have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shah and the head of the woman is the man. Right? The head of the woman is the man. The head of Yahweh Shah is Yahweh. So that's the order. Yahweh. Yahweh Shah. Okay? That's who you ignorantly call Jesus. Yahweh is who you call, who you people ignorantly call God. And then you have the man. Then you have the woman. That's the order. And then you have the children. Okay? That's the order that was set up. But see, that's out of whack now. Okay? That's uh, 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 out of whack. Okay? You are supposed to serve your man. Okay? That's what a woman is, a female servant, okay? But a lot of you aren't going to, uh, because of the power you've been uh, obtained on this side, a lot of you aren't going to hearken to that. So, this is what's going to happen. Okay? This is Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see, and shame shall cover what's saith unto me. Where is the Lord thy power? Okay? My eyes shall behold her, now shall she be trying down as the mire of the street. So this is what's going to happen, man. A lot of you women, okay, you see, that, that do see these videos, especially you Israelite women, because it's mainly for you Israelite women, okay? You uh, Most of you are going to reject this, because we've been in this captivity for so long, you've been indoctrinated with these lies, okay? And the power that Esau has uh, transferred to you, okay, it, it just feels too great to you. So you're not going to give it up. So the Lord is just going to put a majority of you women to death, mainly the women of our nation, okay? That's just that's just what's going to happen, man, okay? And if you are a woman that, you know, do try your best, it's not towards you. It's just, you know, I always put that out. It's, it's towards uh, the disobedient women of our nation. Okay, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American woman. Okay? And um, that's going to happen because, you know, two-thirds of the nation of Israel that's going to be cut off and die. Majority, okay, it's more women on this planet than it is men. Okay? So majority of the uh, two-thirds are going to be women. Okay? That's why... Isaiah 39, 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women, that at ease hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Many de days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless one, for the venture shall fail, the gathering shall not come. That's your benefits. All the treats that uh, Esau has given, okay, you women in this society, man. All that's going to go away. Yeah, the government uh, collapse, uh, the government shutdown, that happened. That's a prelude to what's really going to happen. The next time it's going to happen, right? That's going to be the real thing, because now they're talking about an EMP attack now, okay? Trouble ye woman that at ease, be ye troubled. You woman at ease, man. You woman, could, you feel like you could talk, you could talk down, especially Israelite woman, you wicked Israelite woman. You could talk down to any man, you could uh, say anything you want to him, you could put your hands on him, okay? And get away with it. If he puts his hands back on you, he's going, he's going to jail, man, okay? You at ease right now. You feel you could do all that, that's because you're at ease. Okay? And she that, what does it say in the scriptures? For she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth, man. Okay? Trouble ye women that at ease, be ye trouble ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your wounds, man. Okay? They shall lament for the teeth, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Okay? You're going to look back on all these times when you was able to do that, man, because we coming into Jacob's trouble. You ain't going to be doing that in Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble, okay? You're going to be looking, okay? You gonna be looking for some protection out here, cause it's gonna get it's gonna get real bad out here, okay? That's why Isaiah thirty two and two says, and a man should be as in hiding place from the wind. On oh, that wind is what Jeremiah fifty one and one talks about that wind of destruction, okay? And a covert from the tempest as rivers of water, and a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land, okay? And What's that great rock talking about? This is uh to prove that it's talking about 
you know, a man of the Lord was another scripture in Matthew. Okay, it's Matthew. Okay, this is Matthew 7 and 23. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and do of them, I will liken him unto a wise man, okay, which built his house upon a rock. And then it said in uh, Isaiah 32 and 2, okay, with, uh, 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 let me go back to that, okay, real quick, and then we'll come back. See Isaiah 32 as a shadow of a great rock in the weary land. So go back again. And, um, Matt, Matthew 7. Matthew 7 and 24. Therefore, who here, I'm going to read again. Therefore, whoso hear of these sins of mine, do of them, I would like him once a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Okay? And that's that's uh that what a man of the Lord is going to do. A man of the Lord is going to do the will of Yahweh by Shemel Rashad. Okay? So that's specifically talking about a man of the Lord. Okay? It tells you in Jeremiah the uh, 30th chapter, the 6th verse. Okay? Let me read this first. And the rain descended... This 26th verse. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and do with them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and was great was the fall of it. And that's going to be a majority of these uh, Israelite men that you women claim to. These, these Israelite men that's not in the truth, man. These Israelite men that's in the world, man. Because that's Isaiah 32 and 2 is talking about a man of the Lord, just as I showed you. It's not talking about all uh, these these uh these drug dealers these these entertainers you see on TV with the tattoos all over the over the skin man it's not talking about these heathen men okay it's talking about a straight man of the Lord man it ain't talking about uh, uh anybody outside it it's not because a lot of these men they don't have their foundation built upon Yahweh by Shemuel Shah they have their foundation built upon this world man and this world is gonna perish man it's gonna pass away man okay. So it's talking about a man of the Lord. Because the man of the Lord is going to have what? Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Stability being the faith of thy times. Okay? They're going to have the knowledge of why uh, everything is happening and what to do. Okay? And they're going to have Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Not everybody has that, man. Okay? The two-third uh, uh, men of our nation, they don't have that, man. So they're not going to profit you in that day. The Lord said, I will make a man more precious. In Isaiah 13 and 12, I will make a more man more precious than fine gold and the, than the golden wedge of Ophir, man. That's what a, a man of the Lord is going to be in that time. Uh, as precious as fine gold to who? You women. Then Isaiah 4 and 1 is going to come to pass. Okay? When seven women shall take hold. With seven goes into complete. Seven women shall take hold of one man. Okay? Saying, uh, we will eat our, we will make our own bread, wear our own apparel, uh, uh, on, only if you take our reproach away from us, which reproach means shame. And I remember that by heart because I've gotten it so many times, man. Okay. So it's going to be through what? Marriage. You women are going to, uh, willing to have sex with a man of the Lord for protection in these days that we're entering to because this time period with Jacob's trouble is close at hand. Okay. Then Genesis. Uh, three sixteen. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrows and thy conception and thy conception and sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. That's why a woman, when they give birth on this side, they had birth pains because that was a curse placed upon them. Okay. And thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. So that's gonna come back into play, starting with Jacob's trouble, because that's when. Once Isaiah 4 and 1 takes place, that's when you women are going to decide to get in order. And the ones that don't get in order, they're going to be put to death. Okay?
because the Lord does have, okay, women preserved for salvation on this side, you know, for an elect man, okay? So, you know, Lord women, uh, this is edifying. Uh, call her Lord Lai, how about Shimia Okay? Shalom to the elect.